I'm Mike. And I'm Matt Bob. This podcast isn't just a history. It's not political. It's not current event. It's not pop culture. It's not even sports. This is Beer and Chanel. And this is Beer and Shenanigans, and this is a special episode because we're actually looking at a camera today, Mike, and guess what? We're recording this on video. I don't think we really have camera faces, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> hey, it's going on YouTube, so don't get much better than that. So hey, everybody out there to YouTube land, as you can see, we actually do have gear. I have got my Beer and Shenanigans shirt on today, and... Uh, I'm poor, so I don't have one yet. <laughs> All right, so just want to give a quick shout out, Jamie, your sister. Yes. Found out she is the one that bought the sticker. So Jamie, uh, if you ever get down here in South Carolina, we we'll owe you a beer. Um, nice. Also, uh, Michael Burroughs, our buddy Michael yeah. at work. He's yeah. uh, Burroughs bought him a couple of hoodies, so thank you for buying the hoodies. Thank you. Um, Appreciate that. And Jamie also bought a tank top. Is that not correct? That's correct. Okay. So she bought a tank top, and uh, we, we appreciate her for that. But um, this is a special episode. This is our first of two special episodes coming up in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be re- sending this out on audio, also on YouTube. So get ready for that. We have the, the shenanigans are finally here, Mike, <laughs> and I can't wait. But this is Mystery Beer Tasting This is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to tell you a little bit about it in just a minute. I hope uh, we won't need a vomit bucket. No, no, I don't think so. I don't, okay. I don't think so. I, I spared you. I'm, I'm not peeing <laughs> in the glass and letting you taste it. Okay. I promise there's none of those shenanigans. We don't do those shenanigans to anybody. <laughs> but we just do want to say that uh, this is something we've been wanting to do, and this was the first shenanigan we thought of. So um hope everybody enjoys it. But we're going to tell you a little bit about how you can contact us on the show, uh, contact us about the show, facebook.com slash beer and shenanigans. On Twitter, at Shenanigans Beer. Our email address is Beer and Shenanigans Podcast at gmail.com. So if you're a brewery, know somebody that works for a brewery, um, own a brewery, beer store, bar, yep. restaurant, venue, home brewery, home brewery yeah. whatever, you know, you can we'll try contact, it all. T- yeah, you can contact us there. And also our website, tinyurl.com slash beer and shenanigans. And you can also look, there is a link. Um, right up under our logo, it's a banner that says, go here for beer and shenanigans gear. You get nice t-shirts like this right here. Hope y'all can see it pretty good. Um, we got all kinds of different kinds. We got the, uh, Battle of the Carolina shirt, uh, the logo shirt. Uh, is it even a word? It is now where you can write your own <laughs> word. Uh, so you may hear us say that day cause somebody's going to say a word. That might yes. Be a word. Well, yes. Be, we'll be now. Almost guaranteed to have. Almost guaranteed. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, we got the beer, hashtag Beeronomics shirt. So that's our official hashtag, hashtag here on the show. And our um, hashtag Give Me a Six Pack, which is a Hall of Fame shirt. And we've got two in the Hall of Fame. Yes. Let's see how many more we can get. Then we're going to have any today? Uh, we'll have to find out. <laughs> possible. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. But um, you've got um, Steel Hands Coffee Lager out of Casey, South Carolina. And. Uh, fat orange cat, uh, all cats granted dark white stout. That was amazing. Oh, uh, next episode I got something for you that's gonna amaze you too. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, let's just mm-hmm. see what happens. <laughs> but um, fat orange cat, all cats granted dark stout is in the Hall of Fame from East yeah. Hampton, Connecticut. Meow. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one of those things, and uh, I got a mouse around here somewhere. Not, not the cat. Mm-hmm. Man, but, uh, <laughs> So, 
I got my laptop set over here to my right, and uh, you know, I just want to so I can have the sound effects like we always do. So you mean shenanigans? That's what we're talking about. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna tell y'all how this works. Mike's gonna go get the beer. And don't look at me. I, I don't usually not wear a hat here. So, um, am I gonna be fired if I spill it on the way back? Yes, you are. Okay. You're gonna be fired, and then Jorge <laughs> or Nate's gonna have to come in. So, all right. Yeah, uh, I like him and all. I like Nate better than Jorge because he still owes us twenty dollars for that for last week for Noda beer. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Noda hop, drop, and roll. Sorry, Noda. I still love yeah. you. Though. All right. So here's how this is gonna work. Bear with me. The sound effects will not be on this episode until, well, next episode they will be because I'll be back running the computer. But um, Mike's going to get the beer. And I'm going to blindfold myself. I don't know how well this this is going to work. Crap, I'm scared of dark. All right, Mike. I am blindfolded and I can't see a damn thing. So come on back in. Let me know when you're in here. You're going to have to kind of help me because I can't see nothing. Don't bump the table. <laughs> don't bump the table. Do you want me to leave uh, the cans behind here? Or uh, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's uh, work on this. So the way this is going to work, Mike has picked four beers for this episode. It was my idea, so I decided I'll be the first guinea pig. This is weird. <laughs> I, I, I kind of feel like Ronnie Millsap. Smoky I'm, Mountain Ranch. No, my, I, I don't know something. who that is. What? I know the general direction he's in, so I can see him, <laughs> but or not see him, but look at him. You make me sad. Yeah, you I'm make sad. me sad. <laughs> All right, so I'm having a hard time <laughs> telling which way's which, so I don't know where the camera is. So if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm sorry. Mike can look at the camera, but um, first episode we decided. I said, well, I'll go first. I'll be the guinea pig. Mike pick some good ones. Please do not pee in a glass and hand it to me. That one kind of looks like I did. Oh, uh, we'll have to see. Oh, jeez. Okay, so <laughs> so he went and picked four beers, and I don't know anything about them. I have no clue what he picked. He's going to hand me the glass. I'm going to test it, and I'm going to give my sight unseen rating. And then he's going to give you a little bit about what beer it is, the brewery, just like we always do, the same format every show. We're going to give you a little bit of information about what it says on the website, the ABV, the IBU, Blah, 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 the untapped and the beer advocate ratings. Just so like am I going to do that after each one you taste or all at the end? I'd say after each one. Since. Yeah, let's do after each one. That way we can kind of keep it together. Okay. Sounds good. Am I near my mic? Yes. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse me. I've never done this show blindfolded. I'm having a hard time finding my mic stand. No, it, was, it was fine where it was at. Stop yeah, messing with it and I know, drink the beer. I know, I know. Okay, let's drink beer. All right, ready? <laughs> all right, so beer number one. Mike, hand me a beer. Okay, so beer number one, ladies and gentlemen. See this? This is beer number one. So let's taste it up. Shouldn't you smell it first? I want to get the taste. I had my bat squatch. I had a bat squatch IPA. So a couple of episodes ago, we had a bat squatch, and that was our, my go to <laughs> for the to get all loosey goosey and whatnot before the show started. Um,. I didn't see any grimacing or weird faces. No, this is this is interesting. Um, Tell us what you taste. Say something. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's it's an ale. I can tell it's an ale of some sort. How can you tell that? Because it don't taste like a lager. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Um, malts. Taste a lot of malts. Uh, not very hoppy, but I do taste some malts. I will tell you, it's a pretty dark beer. Okay, so dark beer. It's, it's dark under its blindfold. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you can really smell the malts. Um, so, do you like it? I do. I do. Um, then again, here on the show, we're trying to enlighten ourselves by trying different beers. So have you ever had anything similar to it? Hmm. Maybe. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Let me finish it off. Give me my rating. All right. Hmm. Give me a burp at least. 
<laughs> Unlike Mike two weeks ago. So if anybody can find the Easter egg, email us, beer and shenanigans podcast <laughs> at gmail.com on episode 10, and tell us where the Easter egg was. I'll tell you it was in the last 45 seconds of the show. I don't recall what you're talking about. <laughs> and I'll I, I do a little something for you. <laughs> um, so uh, let me finish this off. Okay. Um, so how's it go down? Um, Goes down really smooth. Um, do you get a little bit of that malty aftertaste, which is okay. It's not overbearing. It's not like a. Um, ooh, so yeah. is it like alcohol forward? Just no, well it's, balanced. It's, it's well balanced. Well balanced. It is a little full for me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. It kind of reminds me. There's a. Um, Yeehaw Brewing. Mm. It kind of okay. reminds me of their uh, their their eighty, but not so the much with 80. the the, the Is Yeehaw eighty eight or 80? 80, 80 shilling or something like that. Something I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I know we'll what we'll you're talking about. Um, it comes in a green can. I remember that. Was it green? Green or red? No, red. Red, 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 red. Okay, yeah, it was red. I don't know what I'm talking um, about. So Yeehaw <laughs> Brewing, uh, I had one, and it was. Uh, to me, we haven't had that on the show. No, we have not had that on the show. They're uh, Johnson City, Tennessee, and they actually have a brewery here in Greenville, South Carolina. And um, down on McBee Avenue, as a matter of fact, East McBee Avenue. Um, but the the, ro- the, malt, the malts in that just feel like they're, they over-roasted the malts. But mm. that is not, I can tell, that is not Yeehaw. Okay. So right. I'm going to give it rate? a, I'm going to get a 4.25 out of 5. That's not bad. Okay. okay. So, uh, well, Mike, tell me what it is. All right. Let me pull up the can here. You're supposed to be drinking these as I go along, too, by oh, the way. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike's supposed to be drinking whatever oh, I drink. Why did you wait so long to tell me? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, um, you know, go ahead and anyway. tell us a little bit about it, and, we'll, right. and, and then you can finish your beer off and like I did. French Broad River Brewery. Hmm. We heavier Scotch Ale. Really? Okay. Scotch we Ale. heavier Scotch Ale from okay. French Broad River Brewery. Okay. Um, the seven percent ABV IBU of twenty four. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you say how much? Seven percent and IBU of twenty four. Okay, I can see the IBU. The seven percent, I'm not sold yeah. on. Yeah, um, it's but... you, normally when you get that high with alcohol, you can kind of. Taste it a little bit more than this. Yeah, I can. And just, I'm tasting it right now. Yeah, I can just see this now at the end of the show. Hi, my name's Medlock, and I'm an alcoholic. Hey, <laughs> hey, here I come. All right, so. Uh, I will tell you, I've had this before, and it's actually uh, one, one I of did my see favorites. You had that one on tap the other day. Yeah. Okay, so cool. But that's one reason I picked it because I knew you never had. I just wanted to get your honest opinion of it. Okay. Um, okay. But it is a Scotch Ale. Uh, it's supposed to be drank out of a tulip, tulip glass, which obviously... There <laughs> we go, damn glasses again. Yeah. <laughs> as you should know by now, we don't really pay too much attention to yeah. that. Just drink it out of whatever you got or what it comes in. Um, but uh, their website says it's... Uh, our Scottish, Scottish Ale has a malty backbone, which... You said it was very malt forward. Yes. yes. Uh, of Maris Otter. I'm assuming that's a type of hops. Or malts, rather. And yeah, roasted as as barley. My... Roasted barley. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and is lightly hopped with pearl and golden hops. I would definitely say it's lightly hopped. Yeah, it's lightly hopped. I, I didn't taste a whole lot of hops. It's definitely malt forward, but I like it too. I'm glad you do. Okay, yeah. So. Um, Untapped gives it a 3.53 out of 5, and Beer Advocate gives it a 3.58 out of 5. Okay. So, so Mike, what you going to give it? Oh, you want me to rate it too? Yeah, you got to rate it too. I get a 4.25. I'll go with you. 4.25 for me also because... I enjoy it a lot, but it's not something... It says we heavier right on the can, so it's not something you can yeah. drink one right after another. Yes, and uh, um, well, I'll kind of give away one of mine. Um, I do have a session coming up on the next episode that mm-hmm. I picked. You gave me a hint. 
I gave you a hint. Okay. I gave you a hint. Um, sorry if you give me a hint, but, you know, my idea, so I'm going to take whatever. <laughs> um, but, so so basically, the wee heavier to me is not a session. Oh, beer. no. Definitely You know, not. we talk about session IPAs. There are all kind of session beers. And those are pretty much under 5% ABV. Give or take, yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Usually. All but. right. So, 4.25 on both accounts for this one. Mike. Good stuff. Um, if you'll take in my glass and finish your beer off, your version of it. Put that back in the same spot. Give me beer number two. Put it down. Oh. Yeah, put it back. Wait a minute. Where, where are we at? I'm blindfolded, <laughs> remember? I mean, God. You said hand you the next one. I'm yeah. trying to hand you the next one. Okay. You picked up the empty one. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, right. beer number two. It's about as heavy as the first beer, as far as weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to use my other senses. Here. Wow. You're special kind of special. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't eat crayons as a kid. Maybe you're about to. <laughs> I don't know. Might have ground up some crayons and thrown them in there. This one smells good. What's it smell like? Beer. That's good. Okay. Well, it smells good. I mean, I, I can't really define what it smells like. <laughs> I guess my sniffer's broke. Um. Uh, Oh, wow. Oh, wow, good? Oh, wow, oh, wow good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so a lot different than the ale. Full disclaimer, I've had this one before also. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so. I know you haven't. That's why I picked it. <clears throat> it's going to be hard. Okay, I can <laughs> tell it's got a, it's got a Christmas to it. Not Christmas. Crisp. Ness. <laughs> I hope that's a word. I know it is, but um, Christmas is a word too. I know Christmas happens in is a December. Word. This is April, though. <laughs> All right, you got to give us some more info about. It. I don't know. I mean, I like it. I really, really, really like this. Um, Why? Kind of tastes like a pilsner. Okay. Kind of tastes like a pilsner. Okay. Kind of? What do you mean by kind of? No, I mean, it really does. I mean, it's... Don't take this wrong way. Whichever brewery this is, I'm not meaning it by this by no means. But reminds me of a Miller Lite. Hmm. And it's not a Miller Lite. I can tell that it's not a Miller Lite. But that's what it reminds me of. Miller Lite. Hmm. I don't know why. Okay. Definitely doesn't have the smell of a Miller Lite. Now, one thing I do know about Miller Lite, because obviously I've had Miller Lite, is it's got like a dense foaminess to it. Is that what you're getting from it? No. It it's just the, tastes uh, similar to it? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like the uh, the hops. Oh, I'm supposed to be drinking it. Yes, you are. Are you not drinking? No. You're not helping. Hold show the, show the can. On. Show the can. So, there it is. And the only reason I've had it before is because by accident I bought two of them. (laughs) And I accidentally pulled it out of the fridge the other day. And the other one was for the show. And I didn't realize I bought one in a bottle and one in a can. So, that shows you how absent-minded I can be sometimes. But, I didn't intend to have it before. But I did. And I absolutely loved it. You know, Mike, I'm going I'm to say this. I'm going to go ahead and get my rating on this. And if a beer is leaving me that speechless. <laughs> I don't. This is a little hoppier than Miller Lite. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that hop finish. There's a, there's a fin- hop finish and hop, hop, a little, little hop aftertaste to it but it it does have the density and yes kind of carbonation that a miller light has yes um definitely i do like the um 
Now, I'm going to go back to last week. You know, we talked about the Noda hop, drop, and roll. Yes. No offense oh. to Noda. No offense to Noda and to our CLT <laughs> that, beers. If you like hops, go try that. My God, that we, head. Yeah, we, told, we, we told you last episode. Punch we were, you in the face. Yeah, we we're going to help our buddy Nader, IPA, mm. resident IPA oh, expert. Yeah. Uh, help him move. Um, when we recorded, you know, a couple, a few weeks ago. And an hour later, I'm texting Mike going up the road to Nate's house, and I'm like, hey, don't text and drive, by the way. Don't drink and drive either, but don't text and drive. Actually, and never mind. I, I won't go there. I burped, and I, I still tasted those hops. It was yeah, really, was really like pronounced. Two, like, three hours later. Oh, God. I don't feel like I'm going to get that from this. Okay. I really don't. Um, yeah, it's definitely not that hop heavy and, by um, any means. You know, I'm going to have to do something here just because I'm the one that runs the computer and it's on my side of the room. Okay. I'm going to hold my hand up so I can't see the other beers. Well, it doesn't matter if you see them anyways. You don't know what they are. I know that, but I'm going to uncover one eye here. And uh, where's my mouth go? It's over here, dummy. Well, thank you. We're going to get on my side of the room over here. As you can see, I cannot see the other beers. But guess what, Mike? We're going to give it a hashtag. Give me a six-pack. Oh, really? That's surprising. That's give me a six pack. You were sitting over there. I couldn't tell you were going to give it that. No, I mean, if a beer is going to give me that, it's going to leave me that speechless. Well, tell us a little more about why. I mean, you didn't really tell us why. The, the flavor is just, it's, it's not really a full body. I mean, it is, but it's not. I mean, that's why I was saying it's more like a, felt like a light beer to me. Yeah, I've got to say, uh, it's got... A okay. perfect balance of malt and hops and yeah, just, it, it, it's, it's it's an all around good beer. I do like it. Um, well, Mike, go ahead and surprise me. Tell me what it is. All right, so this is from Foothills Brewing, huh. um, Winston Salem, North Carolina. Definitely not Miller Lite. <laughs> Definitely not Miller Lite. Um, they call it Torch Pilsner, so you're spot on with oh, Pilsner. Oh, that's sweet. Um, it's got an ABV of 5.3%. What? So really? Not too much. Right. It definitely tastes like it could have more than that, oh, but it yeah. doesn't. I'm think, I was thinking like six and a half or above. It's got an IBU of 35, which I think is that's fair. almost spot on, yeah. Because yeah, it does have a hoppiness to it, but not too much. Um, so they actually call it a Bohemian Pilsner. And I'm okay. actually going to read off the can. Um, actually, I took a picture of the bottle I had the other day, and it actually had a better description on it, so I'm going to read Wait, off that. Wait, is that that picture you sent me the other day? No. Are you sure? I didn't send you a picture the other day. Send me a picture. You sent me a lot <laughs> yes, of pictures Yes, it is. Here. Okay. Um, it says, legend has it that well over a century ago, citizens of western Bohemia grew so dissatisfied with their beer, they dumped it into the streets. You imagine beer so bad? Okay. Well, they're, yes. They're, they're, they're I've had a few beers that bad. <laughs> um, Say what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so a new style evolved in the city of Pilsen, uh, combining the soft local water with pale malts and earthy says hops. Okay, so that's where the the word Pilsner comes from then. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll go with that. Out of necessity because the beer was so terrible. Now, is it Bohemian? <laughs> Bohemian? Is it more like a... Is that Czech? It's more German, I believe. Well, you know, World War II. That was yeah, first, I don't know. You know, they took yeah. over the Rhineland and Czechoslovakia. And we're not the History yeah. Channel kids. I, I believe it's more German, but I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Aaron Shenanigan's podcast says, at gmail.com. Yeah. Please email us. <laughs> and the Bohemians were pleased. Our Pilsner adheres closely to that original style because we like happy Bohemians. Yeah, we I don't want that. angry Bohemian, apparently. But, well, let's, uh, you know, when I I'm saying that song, first Bohemian tasted Rhapsody, this the other day, it didn't taste like a traditional pilsner to no, me. No, it it, do, it does it. It does it. But I could, I could the, the 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 malts and the hot so, flavor. You could. That's probably why they pilsner call it flavor to uh, it. Bohemian pilsner. Okay. But anyway, yeah, that's okay. what it is. All right. So, uh, I got a glass here. Where's uh? 
Swap out. Let's go to beer Four. number. Th- oh, you got some more information. All right. It okay. says uh, it, it was named it's one of the <sighs> one of the nineteen best beers of twenty nineteen. That's kind of a strange 19. strange right. number, but by the craft Bre- beer and brewing magazine. Wait, so somebody in that competition didn't show up to make it twenty. Um, they won a GABF award winner in 2016 and 2017. Found out it's Great American Beer Festival. Yes. I mean, that's that's obvious, but... Um, in the Bohemian Pilsner category. So apparently there's more Bohemian Pilsners out there, and we need to find them. Yes, so um, beer stores, bars, breweries, whatever. <laughs> so If you got some, give uh, a dollar. All right, you gave it a six-pack. I'm going to give it a hashtag, give me a six-pack. I'm going to give it a six-pack as well. Okay, well, hang on. This is something I could drink all day, every day, I and be happy. And you, you kind of said it's like a Miller Lite. So, any of you Miller Lite lovers out there, go find this. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's a lot of beer out there. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, there's a lot of beer out there that uh, there's a this, craft beer that, if, that tastes like taste. Taste like it. If all you drink is Miller Lite and then you try this, that will open the doors and expand your horizons, I guarantee it. Okay, cool. Um, But Untapped only gives it a 3.37 out of (laughs) 5. And Beer Advocate only gives it a 3.67 out of 5. Okay, so I'm going to say that them Beer Advocate and Untapped people are snobs. You know, almost every beer we've done has been around that 3.5, 3.6. Yeah. On those two, so that's not really something that I don't think we should go by anymore. Well, I mean, we still give their information, just kind of give yeah. an idea. But I don't think it's accurate. But then again, everybody has different opinions. Like a butthole, opinion. everybody got one. Yeah. Just going. Yeah. There. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm gotta... gonna savor this while you drink the next one. Cause okay. I'm enjoying. It. Well, I'm gonna, um, you know, hold my hand up again so I can't see the other beers. Just because I don't want to be biased. Even if he did take the blindfold off, he still couldn't see, so well, we're good. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to see what the other beers look like, because then I might get <laughs> an idea of what it could be. But I'm gonna hold my thing up here, and right quick, we're gonna uh, take a quick break and um, hear from our sponsor, Anchor FM. We want to thank our sponsor, Anchor FM, for sponsoring our show. Um, so, Mike, um... This is some good stuff. You're still drinking it, right? Hell yeah. All right, mm. so... All right, uh, big shout-out to um, my cousin Josh, Josh Babb, good old JB, as he's known in the Southern Star Productions world. Uh, he's our producer today. He's come to help us deal with the video, so good old JB. Thank you, bud. Appreciate you. Uh, you can say something if you'd like. <laughs> he's behind the camera I know he's back there he uh, better be back there because I'm yeah, still blindfolded classic. what would he do he wasn't even there oh he ain't talking to nobody <laughs> great okay so no he, he's standing right there he's waving at you okay hey <laughs> alright so okay um so 4.25 out of the first one and that was uh French Broad River we have you. Correct. Here. We have you. And the second one was Foothills. What was that out of again? Winston Salem. Yeah, Winston Salem. Okay. Um, Old NASCAR. I will say, if you like okay. roasted malt flavor, try out the We Have You. Yes, the very, very good roasted. I mean, it's if you like said, Miller no. Lite, try Foothills Brewing Torch Pilsner. Yes. It's ten times better. Absolutely. I Similar. hope that. You know, when it comes time for your episode next week, that um, you look just as funny as I think I look right now. You always look funny, so it's kind of like a normal well, day. Oh, you know. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Foothills Torch Pilsner went uh, into the Hall of Fame. Yes. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. So we up the number, we up the three inductees into the uh, Hall of Fame. That's and awesome. I. Honestly, didn't expect to get that many, because you know just, we we are some beer snobs too, though. Yeah, exactly. That's why I did not expect to get, have three six packs. I thought it'd take a while to get. Yeah, but our horizons have been. Well, That's we, true. we keep saying it that. Let's say it. 
we have expanded our palate a little bit more with the yes. stouts and the IPAs like, and the and the porters and like whatnot. that. What was uh, the the uh, the cat one? Yes, fat orange cat. Yes, that is something I would have never bought before we started doing this. Yeah, white stout was nothing I, I ever even, thought of. Yeah. It wouldn't even cross my mind to pick that up and say, hey, what's this like? But I'm glad we did. So, what the hell are you doing? I got a phone call. He knows that I'm recording right now. He can wait. Okay. Our buddy Randy's at work right now. Randy Bobby. To, yeah, Randy Bobby. He's kind of like Ricky <laughs> Bobby, but his long lost son that, you know. They, Shorter. Yeah. <laughs> they, I think they call them little people now. No, um, I, Is that racist? No, it's not racist. We no. are not racist on the show. We love all people. Okay. I was just making sure I don't know what the proper terminology is. Yes, these little, days. little people. Oh, okay. All right. So, All right. Um, let's go on. with uh, beer number three. Right, let, let me, me grab this so I don't forget to drink it. Oh, jeez. You know how my memory is. All right. Yep, that's the correct one. All right. All right. Let's see if I got, got it. it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. All right. Show you guys out there what it is. I have never had this one before. I think either, my so. sniffers broke on this one. No, it went up my nose. It definitely has a smell. <laughs> no, it went up my nose. I got my nose too close to the glass. I'm tasting this one right along with you because I've never had it before. All right, so here, cheers. Cheers. All right. It smells a. It smells like beer. Yeah, it does. Ooh. So definitely different than a Pilsner, of course. I, I'm gonna we'll say. Hmm. Hmm. Lager ale. Tell me if I'm right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, really. <laughs> How many beers did you drink? Yes. I mean, <laughs> wow. Okay, so. Hmm. Very light. I'm not gonna say like you know. I'm light still stuck in. on the smell. It's got an interesting smell to it. Yes, it does. It's not bad. Oh no, it's it's, it's very uh, good. It just oh, I'm reading the can now. I know why. We'll go into that a little bit later. But tell us what you think about it. <laughs> you didn't pee in this one, did you? Speak. <clears throat> Remind me between after his next. Does one, it I'm smell pee. like coffee? No, it doesn't. Okay, then I didn't pee in it. Okay, remind me. I tell you about a sh- new show on Netflix that I found that's amazing, and I want y'all to check out. We're not there again, not a sponsor of the show, but freaking amazing show. Love it. Goes along with beer, <laughs> obviously. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's not like a light beer, like a you know Bud Light, Bud Light, those kind of light beers. I mean, it's light bodied. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, excuse me. I can have a few of those. <laughs> I can have a few of those and be happy. Feels like, you know, a good old slab of ribs would go good with it. Oh, yeah. This would go perfect something with any kind real, of barbecue. Something smoked. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's got a light flavor to it, for sure. But still has a complex enough flavor that it could pair well with barbecue, for sure. Alright, sight unseen, I'm going to give it a four. Or off the bat. I'm just gonna a four? Throw, I ain't going to think about it, just a four. Um, to me, it, uh, it gives a, it's kind of a watery finish. Yeah. I'll agree with you there. But, I mean, with a four, that's still not bad. Even though, you know, I'm not saying that the watery finish is a bad thing. I'm just saying that just there. I would even call this a, a session beer. What did you go to the station? It. This is something I could drink all day and not be. Yeah, but I'd I'd want I'd want to eat some of it though. Yeah, I, could I just do don't that know too. if I I just don't but know if I could. Uh, some of those beers that I don't. Uh, now torch I don't, I don't like what just torch into my head. Uh oh, this tastes like a Bud Light. No, 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 no. no, no you don't agree? Mm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. That does not taste like a Bud Light. It does not taste like cow <laughs> pee. Okay. 
I mean, it's actually really good. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to go five. I mean, just because of the watery finish at the end, to me, because I am blindfolded on this, so whatever brewer this is, if you see this or hear this, please let me know. What's your process? What what were you going for on this? I really, really do like it. I'm just, you know, just that, just that. Mm, I've never had this particular finish. one from this brewery, but I have had one from this brewery hmm. that I absolutely love. You've yeah. had too many breweries. I ain't, uh, I ain't gonna try and guess. But anyway, <laughs> um, just that, just that blah finish. Just, eh. you know, I, I don't know. Just, it, yeah, it gives you a very complex kick right up front, but mm-hmm. once you swallow it, it's like, eh. blah. Yeah, but, I, uh, yeah. Four's still good. Yeah, four is real good. I, I mean, that. I'll give it a three point five. Okay, still probably gonna be higher than Untapped and Bear Advocate. I don't know. Let's find out. All right. All right. So tell us what it is. Seven Clans Brewing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say Seven Clans Brewing? Yes. I kind of know a little bit about them. They don't have meetings, so don't worry about that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not that. No. Okay. Not even spelled correctly. It's actually about the Seven Clans of the Cherokee Nation. Yep. And okay. So you are familiar. With yes. I, I, I saw this uh, the other day. I knew you I would like, be. Yeah. So I... I, I you know, Cherokee, you know, being yeah, from the, right up the road in Cherokee, North Carolina. And, yeah, there's a big Cherokee Indians presence yes, around here. Yes, in the Koala Boundary, and you've got uh, a lot of big tra- a big um, presence in Oklahoma. So uh, the Trail of Tears is a big thing. So uh, shout out to all the Cherokees around. Um, they they just, so, I love Cherokee, North Carolina. I, not That has nothing to do with the casino. I love the reservation, love the town. <laughs> I've been to casino one time my whole life. I went up there and gave me I've driven hours. by. I mean, it's beautiful country yeah, up there. It is. Yeah, you know, Maggie Valley, beautiful. the whole that whole area up in you know that area, Swain County, I believe it is. Um, is it Swain? I uh, think it is. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, but anyway, the Cherokee Nation. Um, if anybody gets a chance to go up to Cherokee, go and see unto these hills. It is an amazing. Oh yeah. Idea. I mean, idea of what. Or dramatization of uh, the Trail of Tears and what the the Cherokee have been yeah. oppressed by and everything. So and our native my American old friend, roommate was actually a Choctaw Indian, and he really? uh, taught me a lot of history about the Trail of Tears. Okay. So um, if you're at all interested about Native American history, check it out. It's a it's a sobering history. Yes, it is. It really is. So our Native American friends up the road in uh, Cherokee, North Carolina. Hopefully, uh, next few weeks if. All this uh, COVID nineteen stuff, whatever, mm. clear out, whatever. What a cluster! Yeah, um, I can't say that word, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you almost did it. I'm proud I, of you. I caught myself. Yeah, appreciate you. All right, so uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about um, the uh, alcohol okay. and so, all that. Sorry to digress, but so I just knew a little bit about seven. You clients. said lager or ale, mm-hmm. and I said yes. It's classified as a blonde ale, uh, but it no tastes like a it. lager to me. That's why I said yes. Yeah, I mean, the, the blonde ale, you know, I love my blonde ales. Yeah, but this tastes, it is definitely a lager. Um, Ask. Why am I looking at you? You can't even see me. <laughs> um, I don't know where It, it definitely has a lager kind of. Ish. You know how ale is a little bit more smooth than a lager? Yes. This is more of a thicker ale, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Why am I still looking at you? <laughs> are you reading this, or are you just making no, this crap I'm up? I'm making this crap up. Okay. This is, this is, I'm talking about what I actually taste and feel in my mouth. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, I really don't. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, it's a blonde <laughs> ale. It's got 5% ABV. <coughs> IBU is 20. That seems a little high for this one. No, I, I, that's really spot on for me. I don't I don't sense any bitterness whatsoever. No, I mean, there, there is a little bit towards towards the end of it, but right before it kind of drops off to go to the finish, it just eh, it's a little bit of bitterness, but then it drops off. This is very interesting because... Your first sip, when you first drink it, it's got all kinds of flavors, like, right there, but they go away so fast. Mm-hmm. It is. It's 
but, bizarre hey, almost. I'm, I'm kind of like like you. I could I could have a maybe one. they got some of the Indian no no, no. Magic Native American st- Native American. Sorry, let's be politically correct. Tell, Dots tell, are I apologize. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, now I apologize. I'm not culturally sensitive at all. Yeah, so... Yeah. It's okay. not on anyway. purpose. Yeah, it's not on purpose. Sorry. I just don't have a sensor. All right. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right, so... Anyway. Long Seven forward. Clans Brewing. Uh, they're out of Cherokee, North Carolina. Go figure. Yep. Makes sense? Yeah, it does. Um, I'm going to read from their website. It says, For Cherokees, our homeland is where life begins, and the first sip of this ale is just that. Which... It definitely gives you a lot of flavors right up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and a new beginning, a renewal for the soul. This rich, medium-bodied blonde is inspired by the original Cherokee mother, Selu. Mm. Sorry if I mispronounced that. That's her name. Okay. S-E-L-U. Okay. I'll take and that. And incorporates a hint of corn. Huh. To symbolize her eternal gift. To now that you say that, I still got, I, I still taste That's it. That's what that smell was that I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, okay, corn. okay, corn, okay, gotcha. Um, it's about right. And once I read it, I was like, that's it, that's that smell. Um, the This blonde ale embodies the floral Christmas, crispness, <laughs> why can't <laughs> we get that word today? I don't know. <laughs> Of our homeland's mountain air and serene spirit indicative of sell you herself. Okay. Untap gives it a 3.63. Beer Advocate gives it a 4. Okay, so, oh, okay, so 4, so. You gave it a 4, I gave it a 3.5, so. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so, uh. I feel like I, I just, I'm, I'm helpless at this point. I'm just sitting here on my. Arms kind of here. Hey, that was something I was going to was going to tell you about. Okay, so um, today we're recording is uh, April eleventh, hmm. day before Easter. So happy Easter to all our friends out there in uh, YouTube and podcast world. Um, don't go to church. You're supposed to be social distancing. Yeah, social distancing and everything. Please, if you go, if you if you want to celebrate Easter, please um. Find you a streaming video somewhere. This is coming out next week on the nineteenth. So, you know, happy Easter. Yes, or late, late, but um, <laughs> but anyway, what I was gonna say is, yesterday, April tenth, there's a new show on Netflix. It's called Brews Brothers, not the Blues Brothers. B R E W S. B R E W S. I hope I spelled that right. Um. Brews Brothers. It's about a uh, two brothers that uh, one guy starts a brewery. I've seen it, but I want to. Oh, it's it's, it's awesome. It's um, has some raunchiness to it, but <laughs> not overly raunchy. Um, really cool show. It's about two guys that um, well, they they kind of went into a beer competition as kids for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, but uh, one brother comes back to help another brother, a struggling brother in his brewery, and it's just the hijinks and the shenanigans that they go through and um yeah it's it's really funny i was I watching just this morning read something interesting on this can by the way oh we're going just backwards to interject a little bit okay go ahead um it's indigenous owned oh so i did, I, I knew something about that but yeah that's pretty cool to put it on the can yeah all right so did you finish up here almost finish it Chugga Lugga. All right, so Bruce Brothers, go out and check it out. came out April 10th. Uh, they've got eight episodes on the first season, so go check it out. Really, really funny show. And um, you know, they we, make fun uh, of Stella and Amstel Light and Bud Light in the first few episodes. And I'm like, yes, I love this show. <laughs> we kind of advertise a lot of crap on this show that we don't necessarily have any association with. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of hard to do all that, but yeah, I mean, it's just... Whatever, we're just normal people. Just kind of like add normal, a little so. bit here and there kind of thing. Yeah, all right. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, so number four. Got it? Uh, I think so. All right. This one's cold, too. Well, that's always good. I mean, I'm not one to turn down a warm beer, but cold is better. Hmm. What's that one smell like? I just stuck my nose in. I, yes, I, did. I, didn't I saw that. I'm like, Bill Clinton, I didn't inhale. <laughs> He's a liar. 
we're not political. It says it in the, in the first disclaimer of the show. So, <laughs> um, no, if you say you didn't inhale, then you actually did. This is not weed and shenanigans. Oh, this is beer and sorry. shenanigans. All right, I digress. Hey, so, new, new idea. Oh, We've talked about that Here's the can before. for this one. All right. A little bit psychedelic. Are you giving me a hint? I gave yes. you a hint. You're giving me a hint. Hmm. I don't know what it smells like. I really don't. I do. I won't give it a taste <laughs> here. I've never had this either before, and I've never smelled it before, but I definitely know what it smells like. Ginger beer. Draw okay. Crap. I know it's a ginger beer. Just by the first taste? Yep. Okay. I know for a fact it's a ginger beer. All right, beer. I will tell you, you are correct. <laughs> hey, sweet. I wasn't even guessing. I know this is a ginger beer. I like it. A little bit too and sweet for a... For Any of you all that have never had a ginger beer, it's got a very unique flavor. Yes. It's, if you don't like oh, ginger. Excuse me, y'all. If you don't like ginger, don't try it. No, no, no. So, um, I happen to like ginger. Because I love Asian food. This would be perfect with an Asian food. I mean, it just really tastes like an alcoholic ginger ale. It's really exactly. Perfect. It does, like it's it. not as, um, What's the word I'm looking for? You know how that ginger beer has the really harsh carbonation in it? It's this not is really not over, over carbonated. No, it's not. It's it's like a mild ginger ale. You drank that pretty damn quick. <laughs> well, four and a half. I'm not even gonna think about it. four and a half. Okay. Four and a half. What you think, Mike? I like it. The one flavor out of five is good. Hashtag but... you missed six pack. What you got? Mm. I've got to give that a three. Only because after I swallow it and it sits for a second, you get a spiciness. It's not even the spiciness. I can really feel spiciness. some indigestion working up in there, and I don't care for that much. Yeah, but you're in, your, your digestion <clears throat> track is a little weird, but anyway. Go back and listen to episode 10. Uh, That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I do. <laughs> Our loyal listeners okay. are too. Well, okay, whatever. anyway. <laughs> so, this one is going to surprise you. I almost guarantee it. Okay. Because Tip. we're very familiar with this brewery. Really? We are. Asheville Brewing. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Our first Asheville Brewing, and we didn't even, I didn't even get to research this. Really? Yes. Oh, my so, God. this is their Ginger the Llama beer. Okay, so I, I, we're done. I can take the blindfold off, though. I got to see this. Holy crap. So, me and Medlock here It's bright here, in here off a second. Familiar with this brewery because of our job which we're not going to get into but yeah, we've been job. there spent a lot of time there <laughs> yeah, know the that. owner so we know Asheville Brewery. yeah um are you gonna finish it I'm no gonna, i'm not I, I really like this i can't i mean it's not bad it tastes good it's just the after effects in my tummy that i'm not down with right now <laughs> all right so um but yeah before mike goes into it uh, feels good to be back to you know civilization here. All of a sudden. lightness. Oh, is that a word? Yeah, it is. Lightness. Now. Um. So, a um, little background. Um, some of the best pizza I've ever put oh in my mouth. God, <laughs> um, it's amazing. You know, when we pizza. when we left that, it was their eight, eight their eight two eight pale ale. So, it was amazing, and the Asheville Brewing has not us down yet. No. Absolutely not. I mean, you're giving it a th- and what, what, what I give it a three. three. Okay. I mean, ginger is an acquired taste, and I like it ginger. Is. Just, mm, it's not sitting well. No, but it tastes wonderful. But if you if you do if you are from the upstate western North Carolina eastern Tennessee area, check out Asheville Brewery. You got to go to the mothership on Merriman Avenue. We've had a few of their others, but it's hard to get here. Yeah. Even though we're only like fifty miles away. Yeah. Because they only distribute yeah. right around where they are. 
They are the self distributor, kind of like OMB. So we're gonna try and get some more yes. of them on here. Oh, uh-huh. sure. I got because one. I know in one in particular. I got a Ninja Porter in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm glad I turned you on to that. Oh, I love it. I love Ninja Porter. Anyway, so um, go to the Merriman Avenue. You, you can look it up. Asheville Yeah, they have several different locations, I'm but, here, but the mothership, Merriman <laughs> Avenue. That's the one. Is we, the one you want to go. That's to. the one we did the work at, and um, they got a theater. Theater. Arcade. Arcade. You talking all funny again? Cause, cause I, just cause I talk slow don't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to disagree with that, but anyway. Um, no, go there, order you a pizza. Yeah, you can take your pizza and your beer time. into the theater. And, and they've got servers that walk to you while you're watching a movie. Yeah. With beer and pizza. And they got a bar in the, in the theater. Oh, yeah. Well, during this whole covids or whatever yeah. you want to know. I, you still go you probably get a six pack bring home with you yeah you at least a growler oh a growler yeah but anyway anyway tell us a little bit about ginger the llama here all right so it's ginger llama Asheville brewing 4.8 percent ib abv i'm sorry ibu is not oh, yeah. listed here, um probably. this must be a newer one because i've only seen it I've actually seen it a couple months ago, but I didn't pick it up. I thought this would be the perfect time to throw yeah. it on the show. Cause That's our surprise. Yeah. Um, no IBB. IBU listed. <laughs> how, um, how much have you had to drink over there? Shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, it says, let ginger the llama trot over your taste buds. It definitely does that. It it's does. got It's got some good flavors to it. Absolutely. I like it. Um, this uncomplicated, refreshing ginger beer is brewed using a blend of local Rayburn Farms and Peruvian ginger, both of which impart a subtle spice, resulting in an elixir is light and crisp enough to help you zip to the top of the Machu Picchu. It is very, very subtle. It's gluten-free also, for those of you that care about that. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. I eat the hell out of some pasta, so I don't care. If about you that. if if you're drinking craft beer, <laughs> gluten is your least concern at that point. Yeah. Anyway, but then again, sorry for your gluten. Speaking uh, of that, are, gluten I bet allergic. that Seven Clans is gluten free too, possibly since it's done with corn. I don't think corn, corn has gluten. I don't know. Gluten is a wheat thing, I think. I'm I'm in. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Whatever. Whatever. I thought you so. sure. I thought so. Thank you, cameraman. No, producer. <laughs> producer, you gotta, producer make him, you gotta make him feel good. I'm sorry. <laughs> we love you, Josh. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Llamas roam wild all over the Andes Mountains. Sorry about that soccer team that perished many years ago. One of the few animals able to live oh, oh, at such high altitude. You said Didn't it. you ever see the movie Alive? No. Oh, God, don't. Wait a minute. You just said a dirty word on this show. Soccer. Soccer. Watch the movie Alive. I challenge you. Watch the movie Alive, and we'll talk about it later. Okay. Anyway. So, all right. <laughs> Any of you that has seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. The bold flavor of the Peruvian <laughs> ginger evokes that same rugged landscape. Take a sip of ginger, the llama, and taste the mountains. Okay, so... Watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, so Untapped Beer Advocate. Give us a little... Untapped 3.7, Beer Advocate 4.13. So oh, wow. That's oh, yeah, surprising. Four, that is really surprising. All right. I don't think we've seen a Beer Advocate that high, have we? Yeah, that was one. Well, let's go back here. We got we got our whole book here, as you can see. We got a whole book here. <coughs> oh, one. there it is right there. You. No, no. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> sorry, Jorge Pink guy. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So, um, mm. you know, I didn't say the moniker this week. We told you, uh. this, usually we tell you to sit back, relax, and see what we have on tap. Well, this is what we had on tap. And I hope that you enjoyed our first tr- first episode of Mystery Beer Tasting. I had fun. Yeah. And again, we're both new at this, so yeah, don't fault us for that. <laughs> but next week, guess what? Mike's going to be blindfolded. I like the blue one. The blue one? Yeah. 
I'm partial to orange. I wonder why. Okay. They don't. Yeah. Is orange on there? Okay. Not quite a close yeah. than orange, but close. I can't see that far. I have bad. Yeah, that's not. You took your blindfold off. Yeah, I know. I'm still, still trying to adjust see. here. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we're going to be doing more of these uh, eventually. Yeah, this was fun. I like this. What we we got we got next and week coming up because I, I may not say that next week, but I like <laughs> it right now. <laughs> um, I hope that you. Uh, I know I enjoyed it. No, I enjoyed it. Um, we're going to do this one next week because. Mike's got to do the same thing I did. He's going to be blindfolded through the whole show. I trip over stuff when I'm not blindfolded. You're sitting down. I hope down. I don't you're spill not, it. You're well, going anywhere. I was just going to say, I hope I don't spill anything. To go from here to here? You do 12-ounce curls all the time. Oh, come it can't on. be that bad. <laughs> and I still spill it on myself sometimes. All right, y'all. So Get some um, paper towels ready. So uh, we're going to end this show with uh, like we always do. So... <laughs> um, you forgot yeah well so. yeah, no 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 that's not when I forgot that was three weeks three and four weeks ago when somebody decided to do whatever they did but if you don't want to hear this I sound, did not yes you did alright if you don't want to hear this sound <laughs> here on Baron Shenanigans remind you not to drink and drive please drink responsibly and always have a designated driver it's your turn my turn oh, what? How we end the show every week. What? What's your name? Mike. <laughs> I'm Ed Law. This has been Mirror Shenanigans. <laughs>